All right, those on the left. Did you get it? Yeah. If you get the meaning, you'll get it. Can you can I can as I can I can can I can? Ready, go. Can you can I can as I can I can can I can? The trick with tongue twisters is that you must go fast. The faster you go, the better it will be. The more proficient you will be in your pronunciation, articulation, and enunciation. Okay? Right, we were talking about tin canners here. So, one more time. Can you can a can as a can a can can a can? Go! Can you can a can as a can a can a can? Those on my right, give it a shot. Can you can a can as a can a can a can? Not so good. Those on the left. Can you can a can as a can a can a can a can? Well, there was an extra can somewhere. Okay? Anyone having a sardine tin can somewhere or what? Okay, one more time and try, we're going to see which group is better, the left or the one on my left or the one on my right. Ready, go. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> volume. Can you can a can as a can a can a can a can? Ready, go. Can you can a can as a can a can a can? Go. Can you can a can as a can a can a can? All together, go. Can you can a can as a can a can a can? Wow, you learned two tongue twisters already. What was the first one again? Right? Then? Then? Are you weather the weather? Yeah. You weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Okay, one last tongue twister before we move on. I've got a repertoire of things over these three days, not just poetry reading, okay? Tomorrow will be poetry reading. Today, if there is time, maybe a poem or two, but mainly other things, environmental verse, a reader's theatre. So hang on, call your friends to join in. Okay, this one goes, how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck would chuck wood? Many of you do know this, right? But there's more to it. He chuck all the wood a wood chuck could chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Right? That's how it goes. That's a full length one. Okay, can you all help me with the rhythm by clapping to it? I only have the tambourine in my hand. All together, ready, go. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay, this part is easy. Do it on your own. Ready, go. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? For those who do not know what's a wood chuck, it comes from a squirrel family. Alright? It's a kind of a squirrel from the squirrel family. Okay, now the trick is in going faster. Ready, go. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Now the second part. He chuck all the wood a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. He chuck all the wood a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Now let's see whether we can incorporate it into the entire words. Ready, go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You lost your wood chuck wood. He chuck all the wood. He chuck all the wood. A wood chuck could chuck. If a wood chuck could chuck wood, go. Okay. Okay. All right. Woodchuck. Say woodchuck. Yeah. yeah. Woodchuck. Say woodchuck. Woodchuck. Okay. All right. Here's that one was quite simple. Here's a tricky one. Here's a tricky one. Can you? Sorry. How can a clam? You know it's a clam, right? You love eating clams. How can a clam cram in a clean, cream can? Turn around to your friend, partner, and say to him, and take turns to say, How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? 
Now try saying it a little faster. Okay, I think I twisted your tongue enough, right? Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is some just now some vocal warm ups. Now some bodily warm ups. So can you just gather in front of me, and then when I call whatever it is you have to do, you do it. 